seriously bro you invested in a sip and you are not aware about the terminology of a uh, chgr okay i'll tell you uh, investment is like a planting a tree you water it wait patiently and watch it grow over a time but how do we measure that growth without getting lost in daily ups and downs right that's where cagr compound annual growth rate comes in so cagr tells you how fast something has grown consistently over a period of time it ignores the pumps and shows the uh, straight line from where you started to where you ended think of it like this cagr is your investments average annual growth rate assuming your returns are reinvested okay uh, but if you t- uh, if you read the formula of a cagr it's uh, too complicated for a non financial background now don't let the formula scare you it it's actually very logical you take how much your investments ended up at divided it uh, what you started with raise it to the power of 1 over the number of years and subtract 1 easy right uh, let's take an example of a mutual fund investment say in a 2020 you invested 1 lakh rupees in 2025 it grows to 1.8 lakh rupees that's a jump of 80000 rupees in a 5 years right now plug that into the formula cagr equal to 1 lakh 80000 divided by 1 lakh rupees bracket close and uh, one to uh, raised to the power of 1 by 5 and wholly subtracted by the 1 right here cagr comes with the approximately 12.47% so your investment grew at an average of 12.47% every year cagr helps you cut through the uh, noise it's perfect for comparing different investments are uh, tracking performance and making long term decisions especially useful where returns fluctuates like a roller roller coaster right so next time someone ask how is your investment doing tell them the cagr it is simple smart and speaks well 